part. In this video we're going to define the common arcs. And common means you're just going to use these over and over. In fact, you'll use them all semester. Um, they're the exact value, the exact arc lengths um, that we'll use all semester. So you're eventually going to memorize these, but rather than just memorize things, I like to you know, show you where they come from and have them make some sense. Um, and then it's not just memorizing them, it's actually knowing them. Um, so you should have the paper in front of you that's got the three circles on it. I'm just going to focus on one circle at a time because my screen's not super huge and then I'll just uh, pull up a new screen and move from one circle to the other. So recall that we started right here and we said this is point zero and then if we travel in the positive direction all the way around when we come back here we've gone a distance of two pi. So this point right here is known as arc length zero if you haven't gone anywhere. It's also arc length two pi if you've gone uh, once around. Um, and if you've gone two times around, well then that would be four pi and so on. And we'll get to multiple ways around the circle a little later on. So let's not think about the port four pi at this point, just kind of wanted to let you know where that comes from. Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to divide the circle first in half. Right there, divide it in half. So if it's 2 pi all the way around, if I go half the way around, I've gone half of 2 pi, which is pi. And that one's pretty easy. And now let's divide our halves into halves again, or quarters. And if, if I can just look at this top semicircle, if the distance from this point here to this point here is pi, and I go just half of it, well, I've gone pi over 2. Using the same logic, if I go 3 quarters of the way around, then I've gone 3 pi over 2. And um, if you wanted to have all of these have the same denominator, so you can see the fractions, I like to do that. So then this would have to be 2 pi over 2, because 2 pi over 2 reduces to just pi. Well, then what would I have to have over here? Well, that would be the same as 4 pi over 2, which, of course, reduces to 2 pi. And this might be a good time to let you know that we're going to do a lot of fraction work in uh, this course, and we're going to do it without a calculator. Um, so just look at something a minute. Oh, wait, let's do the zero one first. So I can think of that as zero pi over two. Now, I am just all about patterns here. So look at the numerator of all of these. I'm going to color code this here in kind of a yellowy gold. And let's see what we got here. So when we start, we start right here, we've gone 0 pi over 2 around. When I'm up here at the very top, I'm 1 pi over 2. When I'm over here at the very left, I'm 2 pi over 2. When I'm down here at the very bottom, I'm 3 pi over 2. And when I'm back where I started af after making one complete loop, I'm at 4 pi over 2. See the pattern with the numerators? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. All uh, pi's over 2's. Alright, so let's move on. Uh, you're going to use circle number 2. And, oops, let me pull that back up a minute. You're going to use circle number 2 and I'm just pulling up a new circle here. Okay, So now what we're going to do is we're going to divide this one into thirds. So we're going to divide this into thirds. Okay, so I notice my circle already has the halves and the quarters. So um, let's work with that. Okay, so the circle first is divided into half. And then when I look at each top and bottom, each semicircle, now I want to divide that into thirds. And this is just a sketch, of course. 
but it should, when I'm all done, it should look like this distance. Oh, let me redo that a minute. It should look like this distance is the same as this distance, which is the same as this distance. Not unlike you were taking a pizza and dividing it up to feed either six people one piece, and they should all be equal piece, equal lengths there. Okay. So that's, I've divided my top and bottom into thirds. All right. So now what we want to do, and hopefully you did a better job of sketching that than I did, what we want to do is we want to find the common arcs. Well, remember I started here at zero. Let's change colors here. I started here at zero. So I have zero pi over which is the same as zero. Okay. And remember this was pi over here, wasn't that hasn't changed. And so because I've divided it into thirds, I can say that that's three pi over three. Well look here, I've got one, two, three sections at the top. So this is going to be my one pi over three. This one is going to be my two pi over 3. Again, these are the arc lengths or the distance. So 0 pi over 3, 1 pi over 3, 2 pi over 3, 3 pi over 3, which is pi, and this one's going to be 4 pi over 3, and this one's going to be 5 pi over 3, and this one is going to be 6 pi over 3, which if I reduce that would be the same as 2 pi. So there I've successfully divided um, my unit circle into thirds. Okay. And now we're going to, you're going to move on to the bottom one, and I am going to divide this into six. And this gets a little messy. Let's start right here by making this, again, this was zero, but I'm going to divide this into six. So there's my half, and I divide those into thirds, and then after I divide them into thirds, just like you're cutting a pizza, it's divided into thirds. Now you divide each third in half, and that makes six. Oh, I can tell right now this isn't. This is just a sketch. Hopefully you did a better job of this than I did. All right, so this is 0 pi over 6. Well, remember, all the way around is pi. And let's get a different color here. It's pi, but we divided it into 6, so that would be the same as 6 pi over 6. Let's do this one up here halfway, halfway between 0 and and pi. Well, you know that is pi over 2, but if I'm doing it in 6, that would be 3, 3 pi over 6, which of course you know reduces to pi over 2. So if this top one here is 3, then this one right here is 1 pi over 6. This one right here is 2 pi over 6. But hey, that reduces to pi over 3. We already did this one. This one's going to be 4 pi over 6, which you know reduces to 2 pi over 3. And this one right here is 5 pi over 6. Look at the numerators. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So following suit, this is going to be 7 pi over 6. This one right here, of course, is 8 pi over 6, but that reduces to 4 pi over 3. This bottom one is going to be 9 pi over 6, but that reduces to 3 pi over 2. This one right here is going to be 10 pi over 6, which reduces to 5 pi over 3, and then this one right here is going to be 11 
pi over 6, which doesn't reduce to anything. And then this one, we're back all the way around. Following suit, this should be 12 pi over 6, which you know also reduces to 2 pi. Wow. So, this is just using fractions and pretending your circle is a pizza and cutting it all up and dividing it into, uh, we divide it into halves, we divided it into quarters, we divided it into thirds, and we divided it into sixths. And um, now I'm going to pull up on the next video, we're just going to put all the common arcs together on one, on one paper. So um, that's the end of this particular video.